Namaste student. Today we are going to see random experiment and their outcomes. Here we have five random experiment. Oh, no, not five. Six random experiment we are going to see. And we will see their outcomes one by one. So let's start with the first one. The first is what? Tossing a coin. When you are going to toss a coin, you will get some possible outcomes. It means total possible outcome. And we need to find what are those. Because this possible outcome is total possible outcome for a particular problem will run and say if I toss a coin then any question they would be asked what is probability of getting A in the tossing a coin and what is the probability of getting J in tossing a coin in that case your total possible outcome will remain the same. Similarly for the other random experiments your total possible outcomes will remain the same. So we will see one by one. Let's start the first one. If you see the first one, so what we need total possible outcomes. So we might get total possible outcome. So I will use S. Now question will arise why yes? Because we are in a higher class, so we need to see that S is a sample space. We use S as a sample space notation. And sample space means total possible, whatever total possible are there outcomes we denote as a sample space. Okay, so here we have S. So we get A and K, only two. So how many are there? Total number, number of total possible outcomes. How many outcomes? Two. Only one so you have taken power one. Okay, next. I will write here S1. Second one is what? Tossing two coins at a time or simultaneously. In that case, what we are going to get? Two coins, first will be A, second will be A. First will be A, second J. First J, second also J, and J, J. There are four possible outcomes for tossing two coins at a time. So now, total number. How many are there? Total 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can keep it in the form of that is what? 2 points in the end and A dot J is here. So 2 to the power 2. Okay, that means here how many? 2 only and here 4 outcomes. Next we will go for 3. It's tossing 3 coins at a time or simultaneously. In that case, see. Here we are going to use a trick to remember this one. Otherwise, it is difficult for you to remember. Okay. So what trick? First, we are going to write A A A. You may ask me, sir, if I write A A A, is there any problem? No problem. You may write A A A or you may write A A A. So let's see. First, we are taking this one. Now we change from the back to front of one to back. So how are we going to change? One by one. Like two head, take the two head first head, second head remains head, and third for third point, we are taking K. Next we will hear head, 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 head. Now change from here, head, 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 head. Now already we have, we will write again, head, 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 which we have already. Okay. Now next two are here, head, head, head. So here you can see there are eight possible outcomes. So if question will arise, sir, how many total how many number of total possible without showing the outcomes? Without showing outcomes, you can directly say that two to power three means eight. Now if I take now if I take four point, if I take four points at a time and three simultaneously. What will be the total number of possible outcome? Number of possible outcome for points. So your answer will be 2 to the power 4, that means what? 16. If I take 5 points and tossing all together, your total possible outcome, number of total possible outcome, 2 to the power 5, that means 13. Okay. This way, your general formula is equal to 2 to the power n. This is your general formula and depends on how many coins you are taking. Okay. 
Next you will proceed throwing a dart. If you take a dart, so how many possible outcomes are there? Yes, very simple. In three case, there are six possible outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So for fourth one, if we take we get S plus two. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six to the power one. If it will be asked you number of total possible outcome in what throwing a die. So your first one is six to the power one. If you proceed for the second one, so how will we keep this one in our mind? If we going to see the answer, so six is fixed. And how many times you are taking? Means how many times? Not times, how many data you are taking? So here we are taking two. So throw two times, so your hand is here. Two. Okay. That means 36 will need to be. That means again, if we go for the three, three dice and throwing. So how many total possible outcomes? Six will remain fixed. Three will be the Okay. So next, if we proceed uh, for the second one, we have in our the second one. So how do we write? There is a trick for this one also. We write just one, two, three, four, five, six, and here also we write one, two, three, four, five, six. Now keep this one in the first bracket, like one for first die one. We are getting one for second time. First die one, we are getting for second die two. Similarly, first one, three. One, four, one, five, and one, six. If we proceed for the second one, that means first time will be one, two, and second time will be one, two, two. 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. And generally we keep the data or you can say that this outcomes in one first to bracket and separated by form. These are the presentation for your outcome when you are taking two dice and three at a time. So now for this one, Yes, 3 1 and 2 4 4 4 1 5 1 6 1. If you go like that, okay, let me write here. When you have to have a down or write this one, you take it. I hope now you people can easily solve it. Can you guess that what will be after this? Yes, 4 using 2. 4. Four, 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 five, four, six. For the next one, five. Similarly, here, five, five, two, five, two, five, three, five, four, five, 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 six. And for the six one, six one, six two. Six three six four six five six. So if you count off how many are there? Total there are the six outcome. Okay. Now we will proceed for playing card. We need to know about the playing card, the distribution, in how many groups they have divided. That is our target. The playing card we are going to see now. Our last topic for outcomes. Okay, we'll see. So let's start. Here, <coughs> yeah. so there are 52 playing cards. Still, we will not take a joker again. So here we have, there are 52 playing cards. Take. How many total of our playing cards? 
there is sometimes we call Jacob Cartoff. So there are 32 characters which basically divide into two categories. That is black cards, which are 26 in number, and red cards. It is also seen 26. Now this black divided into two more categories. If you see. So here we have what speed and the symbol for speed will be like this. Okay. Next we have club and symbol for this this one. And for red we have diamond. So, if we take 26 here, all are equally likely outcomes. Remember, in classical probability, we discuss about the equally likely outcomes. That means each card having equal value. So here, if we look at the cards, total 52 cards, break into two parts, that is 26, 26. Now this black card subdivided into two more categories. One is speed, one is club. And each category, there are 13 cards. So total 13 cards in this. Okay. Now we'll break this all four. So generally we call suit. There are four suit. And each carry 13 cards. Okay. Now we we'll enter into this each suit and we need to see that what are these 13 cards? Okay, let's see. So now first one we take the speed. And if you take one speed, they all have the same style. Just their symbol will change. Like, if I take a speed, and if I ask him the king, the king will say, uh, picture will be the king will be sitting here. Okay. And here the key, and it will be ready. The most side. Okay. So now <coughs> we are going to see your first spade and we are going to see the club also and your diamond and next is her. Okay. Now in spade of one king is here, one queen, one jack. One ace and two two ten number cards. So remember, one is not there. Instead of one, we have ace. Symbol for this one is A. For this one is J capital. For this Q and for this K. The symbol. We use this one. And here, number start with the two. There are total nine cards in number. Okay. We count it here. You can see how many are there. There are total ten cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now, <clears throat> what about the clubs? Same thing. One king, one queen, one jack, one ace. 2 to 10 number cards but how are you going to understand which is your uh, club which is your speed just if I take the speed and if I ask the key or if I take A the symbol will be here like in A uh, speed will be here it will be written like this picture you will understand by this one is yes it is yes and this is belongs to your speed and if you go for the club Symbol will be given. Okay, here A and here. From the figure, you can understand. Oh, this. Okay, it will be mentioned. So, we are not going to learn how to play. Just we need to know how many are there and what are those. Now, if you go for this all, now we will try to understand more about some term. Term is here picture card, face card. How many cards are there? 
So here, how many cards are there? Three. One, two, three. There are three what face card in each suit. If you see for this one, one king, one queen, one jack, one king, one queen, one jack, one king, one queen, one jack. So three, 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 three. Total how many? Twelve face card or we call picture card. There are twelve face or picture card. There are four A's. Each has one A's. Now if I ask you uh, how many um, black face cards are there? So your answer would be what? See, the terms are very your black and yellow. Spade and black. This will be your black color. So what will be the answer? 3 plus 3, 6. 6 is your answer. What, what about your uh, red face card? Yes. 3, 3. That means total 6. If you go for uh, A's, number of A's, yes, number of A's, if you see, there are 4 cards. And now, if question we ask you, how many number cards are there? Count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 what? Number cards in each suit. That means 9 fortune. There are 36 number cards all in okay. and there are 18 black black number cards why 9 plus 9 and if you look at for red similar thing happened here also there are 18 number cards so these are your uh, numbers you need to keep in your mind to solve uh, the problem related to this type of topic I hope you people have understood. Thank you.